What's up, Tire Garage TV? Yo, my name is Pablo. Welcome to the Tire Garage. If you've been on this channel before, welcome. If you haven't, welcome too. My name is Pablo. I do, I own, I run this place called the Tire Garage here in Santa Ana, Southern California. And uh, it's a fun little shop. It's a tire shop that I, uh, that I started about three years ago. And this channel is all about that. Just car stuff, fun car stuff. And stuff that I got to do here around the shop, I'll teach you, I'll show you kind of what it is to own, to work, to, to, to function at a shop. So uh, come with us, all right? Here's what I got today. And I've been thinking about doing this video for a few weeks now, okay? Because I've got three jacks. Well, I'll show you that one at the end. This one, Harbor Freight. It's the Daytona three-ton. Beautiful. I love this thing. This is my other one. Heavy duty, Pittsburgh also, rapid punk, floor jack. It's not the low profile, right? So it's the shorter version, that's a little taller, but it works. Now, here's my other one. And here's why I'm doing this video. Thing loud. Because, see this leg? See, it's kind of twisted over to the side. This foot is off the floor. I lifted a Tahoe the other day and I saw it kind of tilt to the side. I was like, shit, it's gonna break already, but it had. I gotta say, for him to be Harbor Freight and for the price that I paid and for the amount of times I've used them up and down with heavy stuff with big F450s, I haven't had any issues with them. Although this one, this is the one that's kind of getting crooked a little bit I guess because when you lift it you can obviously tell it slants a little bit right but other than that these three jacks they're they're my go-to um, I don't have any complaints about them for their price and the quality that as long as they I've had them for the warranty that they have because they give you like a three-month warranty if you get a, a you know a tool truck jack a Mac I've seen the Mac, um, the Mac uh, jacks, and they're very similar to this one, to the yellow one, to the Daytona. They're very, very similar, and very similar to this one too. So design-wise, they're very similar. I don't think they're gonna vary that much. If anything, the pump may be better quality, maybe last more, but these have lasted a long time. I've had the shop for three years now. These two jacks I've had for maybe two and a half years. This one I've probably had for, that one I probably had for like a year. I think I bought it like a year ago. But that was, for a while, that one was my go-to because that one does seem stronger, firmer, sturdier. Um, and it makes less noise also when you're dragging it around the shop, around the floor. It makes a lot less noise than these two do. These two make just make a lot of rattling noises all over the place. You could tell, look, they're dirty. I use them. I don't, I clean them up once in a while. I run a rag over them, clean them up, but they're dirty. Look at the stickers, they're faded. I mean, they're not, it's not a, this, I have, I didn't get these a week ago and just throw dust on them. Look at the wheels. You could tell they've been, they've been used. So, and in a shop environment, they're going to get abused a lot more than they will at home. Okay. For DIYs, don't go get a, a, a snap-on. Don't go get a, a Mac Jack. What do you want those for? They're too expensive. With the price that you buy one of those, you can buy all three of those and probably a fourth one. So don't do it. Why do it? These are well worth it. Trust me. I've, I've been using them, and I trust them. Okay. When I'm up under the car, yes, I use stand. Just for safety, for me, it's my life. But if I'm using just for a tire patch, I usually don't put anything to, to secure the car up. It's usually, they're, they're not, they don't commonly fail like that. So, um, you know, just something to think about. It's a jack in the tire shop. I'm gonna use it a lot more than I would at a mechanic shop. And we do tires and everything here. Sometimes I use these three jacks just to lift, lift up a car. And, and they've been working fine. I'll do this. Between these three, which one is my favorite? I still say this one's my favorite. This one I got for, I want to say about 180. So with Harbor Freight, you get all those coupons. I ended up getting this one for about 180. 
these two I paid about, I want to say about 100 to 120, maybe 80 bucks for each one. And I purposely got the, the low profile one. And then I purpose, purposely got this one um, just because I, I wanted to have the different styles, right? This one, now, when one of these fail, which this is the one that's probably going to fail before because this is the one that's kind of slanting when I put it up. Um, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I end up replacing this one with this one. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but... Okay, check this out. Okay. The profile, so from its lowest point to where it stands up, right, to hold the, to push the car up, it's three inches, okay? This one, it's close to four inches. Four inches. One inch is a big difference. Here is a perfect instance of what I'm talking about. Watch this. See that? Doesn't fit. I'm gonna hit that. If I use that. Now if I use this one, it barely slides through. See that? But with this one, this one fits perfectly. No problem. All the way in and out. That's why this height, this height is very important, right? This height right here. So just something to consider. That's a one inch difference. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, it's not. Because what you can do is jack it from the back a little bit so it lifts the frame up and then it'll give you room to, to, to put the patch. I mean, to put the bring the car up, right? But it's nice to be able to just go with this jack and just boom, lift the car up and yeah, you're done. Versus uh, you have to lift the back and then it, time is money. And yeah, it's, it's a simple thing. If you're working at home, who cares? But if you're working at a shop, it, it makes a little bit of a difference. You have to jack the back, jack the front, and then, you know, go from there. So that's the one reason I'm going to stick with this one when I need to replace this one. I'm sure as the newer Harbor Freight has done a lot of upgrades to the, I'm sure these, for example, have gotten them much better. Um, I bought these, I want to say it's 2019. I want to say I bought this one and this one about two and a half years ago. Whereas this one, I think I bought about a year ago. That's when it, I think that's when these came out, these yellow ones. There's also an orange one. Um, and they have different profiles just like these do. Um, so maybe if that one breaks down, I'll maybe replace it with, you know, with the, the similar one, Daytona, but in this, in this model. So are they worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you're a DIY and you work from home, you work at a shop, you work at a tire shop, or at a mechanic shop. Are these worth it? Yeah, they are. Very much so. Very much so. I've not had any issues with them. They still roll fine. They're loud and noisy, but that's that's what it that's how jacks are. So I definitely do recommend them. And when they and when they break down here for my shop, I'm gonna probably replace them with the same ones. Because I don't plan on buying a five hundred dollar jack. It's a lot of money when I can buy this one for the third of the price so I'm gonna stick with these and so far they served me well so so yeah so let me cut the video short here thanks for watching thanks for joining us hit that subscribe button hit that share hit that like button go follow the Instagrams I'll post them up here so you guys can see them and go follow the Instagrams and we'll see you all right so get to work if you need a jack you know what to do you know where they are go get them come on get to work Ha, ha, ha.